Navigation Kit is the ultimate Swift UI navigation solution. A simple, unified API that gives you full declarative control over every screen and flow. Stop fighting with navigation stack and hacks. Now, with Navigation Kit, you get clarity, confidence, and power. Deep link support, tab switching, sheets, full screen covers, async await, and more. Built for iOS 17 Plus and all Apple platforms, fully documented and ready in just three easy steps. Oh, I'm super excited about this one. So, check out the link in the description for a 50% off for the first 50 customers. Uh, it's just super awesome. Go ahead and check out this video. I'm highly excited about this. So, navigation kid. Stop using navigation stack. And I will prove this to you in a few minutes uh, today. What I have uh, created is just started a brand new Xcode project and added some, uh, you know, starter files. Uh, some views, Archer view, Badminton view, uh, with some uh, 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 elements in them, uh, but basically is mostly is just a list and it has some sections and a custom button. This is my custom button. Go ahead and check it out. Maybe pause the video. It's super, you know, just looks really, really nice. And uh, then the content view. We don't have anything in the content view just yet. Now, uh, we are going to learn how to push some views and then the basic pop. We are going to push it in a stack kind of way, in a sheet and a full screen cover way. And we are going to set up our project to use Navigation Kit. Now, what you have to do, again, go ahead and check out the link in the description for the discount code. Hopefully you are going to get it in and then you are going to get access to the resources. Also, there is a full demo project uh, uh, when you purchase, go ahead and check that out too. But, you know, we are going to, uh, I'm going to walk you through uh, those in this tutorial. So, uh, here we have it, it's navigation kit. You want to drag and drop it into your project and then make sure that you select uh, uh, your target and copy files to destination. Let's finish that. And if you expand it, uh, there is navigation and stacks. You might want to take a look at those files too, but most importantly, you want to expand destination and you want to uh, check it out. Now, you know, this is basically going to use my actual files that I have created, but you are going to create your own views that you are going to navigate through. This is, by the way, uh, uh, kind of a coordinator style navigation. Uh, it has all of these cases like walk, archery, and, and so forth. And then a body, which is basically the actual view that you are going to navigate to. You're not setting here up uh, what type of navigation you are going to use, like maybe stack or sheet. You are just setting up the destination. That's why, you know, it's called, it's an enum destination. And please do not uh, remove the case of empty. Uh, this is used internally uh, and also the case of empty right over here with the empty view. Otherwise, you're just going to set up your cases where you want to navigate to and that's it. Also, if you want to have dependency injection, we're going to talk about that in a later video. Go ahead and check out the list, the, the link for the whole playlist uh, in the description. Uh, you just pass along whatever value you uh, want to uh, write over here, just like that, meaning mind and body and an int value. And then just grab it right over here. I'm going to go into more details in that uh, video. Now, it's as simple as that. You have your walk, your archer view, and so forth. Now, please know that there is no hierarchy right over here. As you will see in just a few minutes, you just set all of this up and you may navigate to any of these views however you want, like in a stack sheet and full screen cover, and you may combine them. And the cool part here is that you can just mix and match any of these, and then you may just pop back to any view, and then pop back to destination with the simplest API possible. Now, today I'm just going to show you how you can just push some views and pop. So let's get, just get into it. We are going to get uh, into popping and all of those uh, deep linking and uh, dependency injection later on in the other videos. Okay, so this is how you are setting up your destination. 
Now, of course, there is another little setup and that is setting up your nav stack. Now, your nav stack is basically making sure that everything within your navigation and your view hierarchy is run by this navigation kit. So instead of this V stack, of course, we are just going to, let's just uh, remove uh, this. And what I'm going to do is just start off with a nav stack and it just has a root. And you see the nav stack, it's requiring us to uh, provide a destination. If you add dot right over here and you already set things up, then you can choose between your destinations. What I'm going to choose is walk. And then if you want to, you may add also a tab item. We're going to add uh, the tab item later on uh, when we are going to talk about tabs because yes, this also supports tabs. It's just so, so amazing. I'm really part of uh, this uh, navigation kit. Uh, you can add a tab item if you choose to, but for now, nav stack is just fine. Actually, let's add our tab stack, tab stack right over here. And as you can see, we can have tabs and then selected and then the content. So tabs is basically an array. Currently, we're just going to go with the walk and then selected. It is indeed the walk and then the content. So let's move our nav stack right over there. And there we go. We have our tab stack with the walk. I'm not going to add in here any uh, navigation, uh, uh, sorry, tab items, because I'm just curious about the nav stack for now, but I will do that later on. Let me just uh, build and run and see uh, what we got. You can see build has succeeded and it has this nice archery uh, buttons. Uh, currently they do nothing, but let me just go through what they are going to do. We are going to navigate an, a, a stack style uh, when we tap on this one. Uh, the same goes over here, but from an observable that is coming in a next episode. And then we're going to present a sheet a full screen cover, and then again in another episode, deep link to the curling view, which is really, really far away. Okay, so let's just take a look at our views right over here and let's go to the walk view. So this is our custom button. Again, feel free to take a look at the custom button. Uh, Pause the video uh, that I have previously uh, shown you uh, uh, for the custom button. Basically, we want to access the navigation and then navigate. Two-step process, really simple. First of all, you want to grab the environment. So add environment and then uh, just go uh, backwards slash dot. And then you have something called navigation. This is from navigation kit, by the way, it's not from Swift UI. Just grab the environment of navigation. Uh, let's just go for private var and then navigation simple as that and then you just use it like this is the action for this custom button this is where we are going to add it in and just go navigation and then dot and as you can see uh, there will be quite a few so just p you know push and pop it's as simple as that there's also a switch for the tabs but push and pop for now is uh, 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 what you have to know and there is this push with a completion. Let's take a look at this. So push navigation type, and this is where kind of the magic uh, uh, is. You know, you just add a dot right over here, and then you just select a uh, link, sheet, full screen cover. Let's just go for the link right over here because you know, this button is about that. And then it is asking us for a destination. And we're going to go for the archery as you see in the buttons title. So let's use that. And then if we want to, we may have a completion. This is optional, but I'm just going to print out. Let's just print out over here, uh, pushed uh, archery as link. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So let's beat the run once more and let's see how this looks like. As you can see, we just uh, grab the environment and just say push. There we go. It's so nice and you can just go back and you may pop, 
but we are going to get that uh, uh, there in just a second. We haven't implemented that. So it's uh, that simple. Now, why do we have this link and all of that? Because if I just copy this out and paste it right over here, when we want to present a sheet, I just replace this with sheet and then as sheet. And then right over here, I just paste it in and then full screen cover and as full screen cover. It's as simple as that. Now, just think about how complicated that would be to just set this up, uh, you know, in pure SwiftUI API. By the way, everything is built in SwiftUI under the hood. You will be able to take a look at the uh, uh, files. Okay, let's go back. And now let's set the sheet. There we go, we have a sheet. We can just scroll down, full screen cover. There we go. Of course, we do need to implement the pop button because now we cannot slide it down. And please note right over here, we have pushed as archery as uh, pushed archery as link, as sheet, as full screen cover. Let me just move that over there. So uh, it's really, really uh, versatile. Now let's just go to our uh, archery view and let's just take a look at this. So what we're going to do is just uh, go to the badminton. If you remember that, let me just switch back. We might go to the badminton and then just pop back and pop from observable that is for another video. Now, let's just start off with the badminton. Now we could just copy this out, you know, just push link badminton, but I want to show you that this also works in an asynchronous environment too. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, uh, it's really nice because then, uh, first of all, you may do some stuff over here when we are not in async, but maybe you are doing stuff before the uh, push of a view. Uh, asynchronously. So let's just go to the archery view and uh, let's just copy out the environment from the walk view and put it into the archery view. That's uh, one thing. And then uh, let me just create a task. So we are in an asynchronous environment and then just go await, you know, it's asynchronous and then navigation. And then now you can just go ahead and select the push and, uh, you know, uh, we can't have the completion one, of course, but we can have the simple one with the simple navigation and then just go navigation type dot and then uh, again, link dot. And in our case, it's just badminton. And after the await, we are just going to print out, uh, you know, uh, pushed, pushed badminton as link. So it's as simple as that. Uh, let me just build and run. You can have with a completion one or you can just uh, use this inside an asynchronous environment. So let me just do this just like that and then badminton. There we go. We are over there. Let's just test this out as a sheet and then badminton. It works so you don't have to set up navigation stacks and all of that extra stuff. And uh, uh, yeah, you may slide it down and full screen cover badminton works as expected. Now we still need this pop button because you know, we just want to pop the full screen cover. I'm just going to go uh, and add the asynchronous version of this. So task and then await uh, navigation and then pop. And believe it or not, it's as simple as that. Let me just print out, uh, let's just say uh, popped archery. There we go. Oh. Archery. Uh, let's see that in action. We have more pop options as you most probably saw. Uh, we are going to uh, cover all of them in a later video, but for now, let's just go and select the full screen and then just pop and just going to pop it as expected. And of course, the print statements are all already there. Now, this is how simple it is to just push with link type, sheet type, full screen cover type, and pop with or without asynchronous uh, environments. It's so, so powerful. And there's a lot more coming. Go ahead and check out the link in the description for the whole playlist. And also check out the discount for 3% off for the first 50 users. Go ahead and check it out. I highly recommend that. This is the one last piece missing from SwiftUI.